I'm really excited to introduce to you today one of the more influential spiritual teachers I've had in my life. Her name is Jasper, and we call her Jazzy or Jazz. Uh, she's a German Shepherd Rescue we've had for a few years now. She's a high-energy, timid, skittish dog, and that's presented lots of interesting challenges, right? I thought that I could really help her with that. And what I found out was, though, that she was here to help me. I think it's been a, a mutual thing, of course. But So I have had dogs all my life. Matter of fact, I've been raised with German Shepherds since I was a baby. So I'm very comfortable with this breed and dogs in general. And I always thought of myself as being very good at handling them. So I was extremely confident in being able to help her with her problem. So one of the ways that it manifested itself was that she did not like to take walks with us. We have you know, three dogs in total with us if, if she wasn't on the leash. Now I thought, gee, I've never walked a dog on a leash. They always listen to me, so I've always been able to take them leashless. I'm gonna fix this, I thought. Well, this was a great example for something I talk about all the time, which is force versus power. It was an excellent opportunity for me to actually live. I could not force this subject on her. <laughs> she was not interested in taking those walks without the leash, at least for the beginning. There was some sort of comfort for her in that. Now, I kept trying to work with her on taking the leash off, and every time it, it led to disappointment. Until one day I realized this is how she likes to be walked. Why does it have to be different? Why do I have to force the issue on her? The moment I realized that and accepted it, the, our relationship grew. I can just about guarantee that there's at least one person, if not more, in your life that you find yourself in situations like that with, where you have a preconceived idea of how it should be, and you try to force that idea on them, it rarely, if ever, works. So, you know, here's the funny thing, too. After all these years, I've thought, geez, you know, would I change Jazz the way she is? And I wouldn't. Not one bit. Because she has taught me so much about patience and understanding and power. So I encourage you, take a look. Take a look at your life and see if you can find that person who challenges you and see if there isn't something that they can teach you, just like Jazz has taught me. I thank you for your time. It's precious.